All right, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I really didn't feel like fucking vlogging today, but I told myself if I was gonna actually do this and actually take this shit seriously, I have to release a vlog a week. Not only is repetition the key, but it's gonna make me get better at what I'm doing because I'm not a fucking cinematographer. I'm not a director. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing half the time. I just fucking start and press play and fucking go. So I get questions about my dogs all the time. Luke, the one that looks like a wolf, is a husky, full-blooded husky. And Penny's a husky mixed with a Rottweiler. They call her a Rotsky. Luke is lucky that he's a good looking dog because he's a pain in the fucking ass. And Penny might be the most loyal dog I've ever had in my whole life. So for those of you guys that have been watching the podcast, you guys know Jay has been ducking this smoke on the court for like the past year. I guess he's in the studio. Another excuse and another Sunday, Jay was dodging the motherfucking smoke. Oh, that's making the vlog, bro. That's making the vlog. What happened, bro? I thought you guys been practicing, bro. What happened? Buckets. Buckets. Come on, bro. You gotta make a point. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Hey, the sun shines on a dog's ass at least once a day, my guy. Bam! Strangers. Oh, Aaron, right here. From strangers into strangers. brothers. From brothers into, into strangers, strangers once again. again. All right, my turn. Oh. Two blues. Two. I always thought he said, but like kittens. What did I see the mitten? Kittens Dad! see the mitten? I'm gonna Dad! take you to get your ears checked. Dad! What? I'm over there! Your game ain't over, bro. Game ain't over till the game is over, my guy. Dang, Dad, you oh, suck. Oh, lollipop, bruh. Dad. <laughs> That's not that far. I got too excited, and that was only a few <laughs> steps ahead. <laughs> I don't even need a TV, but I want it. Look at that. Fuckers, better than fuck. Best Buy always has me out here shopping for shit that I don't need. My TV's fine, but to be honest with you, I really feel like I need this fucking 83 inch OLED that won't even fit on my fucking wall. Appreciate you. So you wanna know one of the dopest parts about my partnership with Enchanted Botanicals? Not only are we growing some fire fucking weed, but I get to have most of my meetings at the consumption lounge over here on Central. What's cracking? How you guys doing? Hello, how are Thanks. you? Pretty good, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? That's that's always, that's the central vibes. I got a meeting. I'll be on the other side in the back booth when homie comes through. I'm gonna go back there and like clean things up a little. Ah, it's cool, it's cool. You should see his house, it's fine. <laughs> I'll be over there on that side, you guys. I will for sure. Being able to have all my meetings over here at the consumption lounge is fucking fire. It's not my favorite part of our partnership, but I'm gonna tell you right now, 
It's definitely a park. So, for somebody that didn't want to vlog today, I certainly did a lot of fucking vlogging. As far back as I can remember, I've always had goals that a lot of people thought were unrealistic. Just out of reach. But I knew, in order for me to even get close to accomplishing any of those dreams that I've had, it's up to me. Nobody can walk the path for me. And that's why you guys always hear me fucking going on and on and on about discipline. When I was younger, I had zero fucking discipline. I had to change in order to change the trajectory of my life. I was never gonna get to the point I wanted to be at being the little fuckhead I was when I was younger. So the reason I started picking up my camera to document this journey, it's gonna hold me accountable. And not only is it gonna hold me accountable, I honestly think it's gonna be dope to look back in a year or two years and watch the progress, see the journey from when I first picked up the camera to where I end up. And then I get to see my life unfold and my kids grow older and just certain memories are gonna be documented in a way that I can always look back on. And not even me, my kids, my family can look back on and be like, oh shit, look, that's what it took and that's where we were and that's what we did. And I think that's why vlogging and documenting my day-to-day -day life has always been interesting to me because I've never been able to like actually keep a journal, right? Like I've, I've, I've always tried, I thought it's cool, I thought it's a good idea, but I've never been able to actually continuously pick up a journal and write out my thoughts. I've just never been able to do it. Maybe this is how I do it. Maybe this is the way that I actually can document my thoughts in some parts of my life. As you guys can obviously see, I'm in the studio because it's time to get back to the motherfucking music. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what the fuck are you doing? Go over there and hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, you might as well like the video. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't get left behind. I'll see y'all next time.